Happy birthday. Hope you like your gift. Gummy bears, really guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was gonna happen? I, I don't know, I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Green? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With brick? No, wait, I think he's gonna... should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I, I just said no. Oh, come on. Just let me go. Okay, sure, honey. You can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure. Do you have the receipt? I don't. I actually lost it. Oh, yeah. No receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care. I need the receipt. Okay. Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute. What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Don't be bad. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break the news about the divorce. <sighs> you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't. Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Oh. Now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. <laughs> well, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about Mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this hello from Mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> tell myself how to play this in as well. She's really good. <gasps> Mommy, I got 1,000 years! Shh, don't say that so loud. Come on, we're leaving. But why? No one can ever know how many years you have. Put it to private immediately. Hey girl, why do you always keep your years on private? I just don't see the need to share it, that's all. He probably has no years left, that's why. Jake, don't be mean. Hey, Mom, my years are still going up. It's almost at 3,000. Can you tell me why it's such a bad thing? Don't ever mention this to me again. Now go to your room. Everyone reveal your years immediately. Who are these guys? The legend has it that the girl who receives over thousands of years in her lifetime is the long lost princess. Everyone reveal your years. We must find the princess. They already are. Brianna's the only one who keeps her years on private. Reveal it now. <gasps> 3,000 years. Come with us. I'll be right back. Your driver should be here shortly. What are you doing here? 
Why didn't you tell me people were coming to the school today? I, I didn't know. Let's go. We're going home. But mom, I'm the princess. Come on. You are never going to leave your room ever again. Mom, no, don't leave me here. Mom! Hello there, princess. Are you a prince? I believe this is yours. The crown. It looks stunning on you. Here, take my hand. Let's get out of here. So you're the princess. Oh, we must get rid of those commoner clothes immediately. Follow me. Wow, this gown is gorgeous. Princess, your years, they're at infinite. But how is that possible? When the princess meets her soulmate, she gets infinite years. You must be my soulmate then. No, that's not possible. You have infinite years and he doesn't. The princess's soulmate should also have infinite years after meeting. It's somebody else. Who else did I meet? Princess, it must be some kind of mistake. I know you're my soulmate. Will you marry me? Of course I'll marry you. You did save me after all. Prince? Prince, where are you? I need your help picking an outfit. I'm really nervous about meeting my real mother and father. Wait, what if the princess sees us? <laughs> Don't worry about her. She's clueless. I have her wrapped around my finger. Princess, are you okay? Who are you? After all this time, you still don't know me? No. Wait. Everyone, reveal your years. We must find the princess. The princess's soulmate should also have infinite years after meeting. It's somebody else. I do remember you. I have to show you something. Infinite years. So you're my soulmate, and not a prince? A servant boy? I'm sorry to disappoint you. I can't marry you. I must marry a prince and become queen. Are you ready to be married, princess? Don't speak to me. This is a transaction, not love. You will now be pronounced king and queen once your new crowns are worn. Wait, I object. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing, it's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh... Take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say you take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. 
babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Hey, how many years did I get? You... you got infinity. Yay me! No, honey, that's not good. You're going to live long after everyone you know and love is gone. Hey, Brianna, something came in the mail for you. What's the letter for? Anything interesting? It's a invitation to another funeral. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm used to it by now. Now, what is a lovely lady like you doing sitting here all by herself? I'm just waiting for the bus. How about I take you out on a date? What do you think? I don't date. I don't get attached to anyone nowadays, actually. All right, suit yourself. Have a lovely day. Wait, got a mark on your neck. It's the same as mine. Got a mark on your neck. It's the same as mine. So now you're interested in a date. I finally have someone to keep me company for all eternity. You'll never have to be lonely again. <laughs> Who's that? Oh no, that's a local years thief. She steals people's years. She can do that? She can. She's a witch. Run! I think we lost her. We should be safe here. <laughs> no! How could you? He's all I had. <laughs> Wait, don't go. Take my years. I don't want to live anymore. Mom? What's on my face? Oh no, you got an X. You need to cover it and put a check mark right away or else they're going to get you. Who? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You got a check mark. I've located an X. Please don't do this. Everyone report immediately for your symbol check. So, what happens if you have an X? Those with X's are eliminated to stop overpopulation. You're only safe if you have a check mark. Next, please. I'm next. Don't worry. You have a check mark. You'll be fine. You're good. Next. I said next. Are you crazy? What are you doing here? Why would you go online knowing you have an ex? I thought maybe I wouldn't get caught. Of course you would get caught. Who are you? You have an ex too? So where are you taking me? This is the ex's hiding spot. I made it my personal duty to protect all exes. Wow, you're pretty heroic. Excuse me, miss. May I sit here? Yes, of course you can. Why would she have an ex? She's just a baby. The exes were given at random. No reason and no sympathy. Oh no, they found us. We have to leave immediately. Hey, ugly. Excuse me? Why would you say that? I'm sorry, it was for a task. I'm in the 90s now. I thought so. Good luck. I hear the last 10 tasks are impossible. Hey, girl. Hey. Ah! Did you hear what Tom did? What? No. His 95th task was to stab someone, and they ended up in the hospital severely injured. The whole school's in the 90s now. It's about to get very dangerous here. It's really dangerous here. Let's go somewhere private and talk. Yeah, sure. No one's around. I think we'll be safe here. Yeah. So, what did you need to talk about? I'm so sorry I have to do this. What are you doing? I have to do this. I have to kill you. I only have two tasks left. That money is mine. No! I'm so sorry. I'll call you an ambulance. I'm not going anywhere until I finish my task. Well, I've made it this far. I might as well be the one to finish all these tasks. 
Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um, go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. No way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you. And the winner for prom queen goes to Miss Sydney White. No Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney. First she becomes more popular than me, and now she's prom queen. It's time for Plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile. Congrats, Sydney. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I I lied, okay? What? Why would you? Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You could meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ah. Uh, Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to. I know. Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up, it's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look, it's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> Oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. Wanna come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet, I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay, we dare you to kiss Peter. Whoa! <laughs> it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. She's so big. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Don't listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! hey. Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're going to go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey Siri, who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You, but not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney, white. What? Yo, just one more kiss. She did it. I made it to 80%? Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, I know. I... Somebody's got a crush. Oh. oh. Jason, shut up. Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> Hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular. And if you come for her title, girl, she's going to come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi. I wanted to ask you if you, um, if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure. I'd love to. Sweet. I'll, uh... I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. 